Hey, yeah? Right. One of the benefits of doing these videos in the park is people come up and talk to me. And somebody's asked me a question that I thought I'd share as an addition to the video I just did. Um, and that is, when you're in approval seeker mode, these choices of who to let you motivate me, uh, who to seek approval from, are big choices, So because they last a long time. So once I've committed to letting someone motivate me, that's it, and that'll be it for years. There's a big choice to change. So that means when I'm making these choices, what I do is I make as much detailed planning, scenario planning, what if, whatever I can do, the more detailed I am at doing that planning, the better I am at making the right choice as to who do I let motivate me. Okay, because these are big choices that last a long time. So there's lots and lots and lots and lots of detailed planning. I don't make the choice many times in my life as to who to motivate me, so I better make sure I get it right, hence the detailed planning. But if you're in self-motivate mode, where you're developing yourself and you're making lots of these little choices, the choices are little, frequent and very often. So what you do to make those choices is just enough to find the next choice. Okay? It's a web of choices. I might make 10 a day, I might make one a day, but I'll always make choices each day. Okay, so the daily choices. And they sort of add up into a sort of web and a path and a general direction as they get older. Mm -hmm. So I make choices that, that I do, implement, just enough to find the next choice. So I'm not spending loads of time doing detailed planning. I'm making a choice that I can do, ideally in the day, because the quicker I can find out what the next choice is, the better. Okay? So if I make a choice and it fails, that's a good thing because that's leading me to help me learn to make the next choice, to make another choice. And I go back round that, make another choice, failed again, make another choice, failed again, and I'm learning very much by doing. Yeah? So just enough to make the next choice. If it fails, learn, make another choice. And go back round that circle. Okay? So it's learn by doing. And then, just as good if I make a choice and it works, what I do is I just let it take me to another place. I just let it go with the flow. Let it expand, share it, yeah, so you share it, so that it just goes to a different place. I meet different people, do different things, and it creates different opportunities for different choices for me. So it's very organic, very much in the moment as I can get it. Yeah? And just making lots of, if you like, choices that I can implement in the shorter term, not the long term, as I effectively organically create my own web of choices. Okay, so both sides, approval mode and self-motivate mode, make choices. It's just they need to do it differently because this one's long term, therefore needs detailed planning, and it's difficult to undo. And then this one, is it's building up a sequence of choices, learning by doing, so there's lots of little choices where I learn and change, learn and change, and go with the flow when I find something that works. So it's sort of less planning and, and trusting yourself and your instincts, and let the world come to you if you like. Whereas this one's lots of planning to make an explicit long-term choice over who do I let motivate me. And it's difficult to undo that choice, so I need to do lots of planning. Whereas here it's quite easy for me to undo it. There it's hard to undo. Okay, hopefully that helps. And the sun is out, so it's a good time to finish, I think. Thanks a lot. Bye.